So our second lesson in this unit is biogeochemical cycles. As I talk, I'm just going to show you some scenes by the river. It's quite high right now, right? So they um, just opened the floodgates and we're at the point of the river hitting his highest point. So it's not normally this high. Like I said, normally you can walk right down and the river walk is along there. But um, So biogeochemical cycles. So that's a big word, but if we break it down, bio just means life. Uh, geo kind of means rocks. So bio would be the biotic part. Geo is kind of like the rocks, the abiotic part. And then chemical, well, we already had our chemistry unit. You know all about chemistry and compounds. Uh, bio, geo, chemical. So basically that just means how do the chemicals in the in our world just cycle through the living and non-living parts. So that's what our lesson is about today. And it's kind of cool if you think about it. Um, things like oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, they've already existed, right? We know that matter can't be made or destroyed. I'm gonna zoom in, I think there's some birds over here that you can enjoy while I'm talking. Um, so like we said, all the matter has already been created. So we, we can't make more oxygen, we can't make more carbon, it already exists. So for it to be able to sustain us and life, it has to be constantly recycled. I'm getting close to the goose. We'll see what happens here. Apparently they've been fighting a lot. So it's kind of neat that all the elements already exist. Oh, he flew away. But they keep getting constantly recycled through the biotic and abiotic parts. So that's really fascinating. So right now, I just breathed in an oxygen molecule. But that oxygen molecule that I just breathed in, who knows where it'll be tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow it'll be oxidizing and rusting something. So the same oxygen we breathe is constantly being recycled. Same with the carbon, the nitrogen. It's fascinating. Every day they're in a new spot in the world doing different things. Oh, my friend's coming closer to me. So today we're gonna look at some biogeochemical cycles. You're gonna fill in the sheets. And then in our next lesson, we'll just look at how things can affect it just naturally and human interaction. Okay, so like I said, I wanted to give you a little field trip to see some nature as we do the ecology unit. There's my friend right there. Say hi to the science class and uh, good luck with your homework assignment. Have a good day.